Welcome to Ortho Eval Pal, where we help you build confidence in your orthopedic evaluation and management skills. Hello, everybody. This is Paul from Ortho Eval Pal, and today we're going to do a little how to video, okay? Now, one of the things that I find when I give my courses is that many people will come to these courses and we'll talk about reflex testing of the upper and lower extremities. And many people go through the motion of reflex testing but may not really understand exactly what level they're working with and how to actually do the reflex test, okay? So a couple pointers I want you um, to mention today. Number one, when you strike the patient, you need to strike the patient hard enough so that it actually stretches the tendon so you get the stretch reflex, okay? And it's important that when you do that strike, the reflex hammer is allowed to bounce off of the patient, okay? It's not a hold onto the handle and push it on there. You need to be able to make it bounce back off the patient, okay? So that's one of the most important things you could do. Now, if a patient comes in and they have no reflexes on either side, really nothing to worry about. What we're looking for is symmetry and or hyperreflexia, okay? So, what we're going to do today with Vicky here is we're just going to go through, and I always like to start with a certain pattern. I like to start with um, C7, go to C5 at the biceps, and then C6 at the brachioradialis. So it's important that when you're doing C7, the patient is completely relaxed. You're looking straight ahead, letting this arm really just kind of hang there. Now, if they're apprehensive, I might, you know, ask them questions about where they're from and what they're doing these days and that type of thing. So I have her relax. I want to strike her right above uh, or proximal to the electronon, okay, on the tricep tendon, so relax that arm, let it be super heavy, okay, good, and we got a nice C7 reflex, notice she's a little hyperreflexive, okay, so we're going to keep that in mind and look at other neurologic testing, but we're not going to go there uh, yet today, when we do the biceps, I have them rest the forearm on my forearm, I put my thumb on the bicep tendon, now relax your arm, let it be really heavy, I take the sharp part of the reflex hammer and I strike. And so she is hyperreflexive. Now she has had cervical spine surgery um, about how long ago? Uh, 18 months. About 18 months, okay. So, you know, she has the same uh, hyperreflexia on both sides. Now we're going to do C6, brachioradialis, and there's our reflex right there. Now, let's talk about the hammer. There are cheap hammers out there that are really, really light that don't allow you to build enough momentum before it strikes the patient and if it's too soft does not cause the tendon to stretch enough okay so I love this type of hammer right here um, it's nice and heavy so the heavier the better okay and then when you do it it's a nice strike now because we're going across the tendon I use the wide side here when I'm trying to aim for a tight spot I use the sharp side okay so that is uh, reflex testing for the upper extremity. The tricep is C7, bicep C5, brachioradialis C6. Remember to strike it with a brisk um, strike. Use a hammer that weighs enough and get the patient to relax and into a comfortable position. Now for more information, go to www.orthoevalpal.com. Thanks for watching. We hope you've enjoyed this video. And for more awesome content, go to orthoevalpal.com. Can't wait to see you there.